two eggs. One, two. Are they gonna hatch? Or are they gonna end up on your table along with some orange juice and toast? There are basically two kinds of eggs. One type of egg is what we call fertilized, which means it's the type that's going to hatch and a chick will come out. The other type, the type we're gonna talk about today is the unfertilized egg. It's the type you can find in restaurants, stores, and at home on your table. The unfertilized egg does not have a chick inside. A chicken could sit on it for a whole year, and the only thing that would ever happen is the chicken would get bored. <laughs> this is an unfertilized egg. Nope, no chicken in here. Actually, that's not the way to tell whether this egg is fertilized or unfertilized, but there are ways we can tell. The first way is the simplest way. If the eggs come from a place where there's only hens and no roosters, it's unfertilized. No chicken coming out of here. No way, no how. But that's not the only way to tell. Every egg has a germ spot on it. It's a small, little, solid white spot on the yolk, the yellow part of the egg. Now, if we cracked open an egg that was going to someday be a chicken, you'd see the germ spot, but you'd also see a ring around it. This means that both male and female cells are there. It is a fertilized egg. Obviously, you can't go around cracking every egg open to see its germ spot. Ooh, sorry. Maybe we should try something else. There is another way we can find out if there's a chick inside the egg. <laughs> so you want to see what's inside an egg, eh? Well, look here. This is called candling. This allows us to see inside the egg. See what's going on. After about 11 days, a fertilized egg will show signs of a developing chick. An unfertilized egg will not. An unfertilized egg will remain unchanged. Mwahahaha. <laughs> the egg we're talking about today is unfertilized, or a table egg. But how does it get from the chicken to here? Let's find out. And here they are, fresh from the family farm, only hours old. The eggs are washed in a warm water and mild soap. La -da -da -dee, la -da -da -da. But the water can't be too hot. You know what happens to eggs when the water is too hot? They start to cook. Once the eggs are washed, they're inspected for cracks in the shell using the candling process. Remember the flashlight and the egg? <laughs> this is candling on a much larger scale. Over a million eggs a day come through this candler. Candling checks the egg shell for cracks and the inside of the egg for quality. Farmers want to make sure your eggs are safe and fresh to eat. So far, so good. The eggs that aren't just perfect are discarded, but they're not wasted. They're spread out over fields, used in animal feeds, and used in compost. The eggs that do make it through are weighed and sized, from small to jumbo, so they can go right into cartons, and away they go, into the refrigerated truck and right to the grocery store. And now that we've been to the local grocery store and purchased our eggs, we can have breakfast, and there's lots of ways to eat the eggs, and they're all good. Scrambled eggs, eggs over easy, omelets, hard cooked eggs, and much, much more, like French toast, pancakes, poached eggs, and that's just breakfast. Eggs are in fried rice, meatloaf, cakes, pies, and much, much more. And now you know more about the incredible egg and how it gets from here to here. Thanks, Mom. Well, what I do with this now is up to me and to you. It was nice talking to you, but I'm hungry. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.